Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Word tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to insert a picture in a column and place it freely in the column. Now before we get started with this let's go back to the page layout tab and this is the same example as we were following in our last example uh, or last tutorial and I'm going to be going under columns, more columns just like before and I'll be uh, looking at, now notice it says one column because I am currently viewing it two columns but my insertion point is not in the two columns let me show you my insertion point is in the one column region so I must be in the two column region for myself to go under columns and now it says two go under more columns and turn off the line between so you have to be careful just because you're viewing certain area in a document doesn't necessarily mean that is the active region to go in the active region your insertion point should be blinking in that active region now let me go here towards the bottom over here uh, in um, corners and I would like to insert a picture over here in, in, in newcomers so to insert a picture I have two options either I can bring a picture from my computer which is the picture option or I can grab a picture from Microsoft's website which is through the clip art so if I click clip art now here it shows me the clip art I can choose whatever media file types I want to work with I can click back outside make sure include office.com content is checked if you are connected to internet these pictures will show up from the office.com library now this is where I can search for what I'm looking for so let's say if I'm looking for a college picture so here I have several of the college pictures so let's say if I go ahead and click on one of the college pictures let's say this one now the picture fits right within the columns width Okay. However, sometimes what happens is the picture is uh, height is a bit larger than the available space on the page. So what it does, it automatically moves to the next page. But in our case, it fits perfectly here. What I want to do next is I would like to crop this picture. So I go into crop. Instead of using the basic crop, I'm now cropping to shape. So let's say if I would like to crop this to a shape, so I can pick a shape of my choice. I pick this circular oval shape. And now I would like to apply some picture effects. So I go under picture effects. I can add shadow to the picture. I can add glow to the picture, reflection to the picture, and also the soft edges. So these are some of the properties that you can apply to your picture. So soft edges will going to make your corners of the picture of the shape appear a little, a little bit softer than a bit harder. So I was in picture effects. Make sure your picture is selected. Only then the format tab appears. If the picture is not selected, the format tab will not going to appear. Now currently my picture is in inline with text. To place it freely in anywhere in the column, I'm going to first of all decrease the width of my picture from 3 to let's say 1.5 and press enter that's one way to decrease the width of the picture or I can use a sizing handle to control the width of the picture either way it works fine now to freely place the picture I go under wrap text and choose square so as soon as I click square now my picture can be placed alongside the text now notice how text is wrapping around it However, the shape of the text as it wraps around it is squarish because I chose the wrap text square. If I go ahead and choose a wrap text tight, now notice how the text tightens up by the shape of the picture. So this is what you got to decide, whichever way you want to go about working with the wrap text, you can choose that format over here. So I've been able to uh, change my picture properties by going under picture effects I was able to crop it and I was able to change the wrap text if you want you can send the picture behind the text bring it in front of the text you can make it top and bottom that means the text either appears at the top of the picture or bottom of the picture you can make it square you can make it tight you can bring it in line with the text what does that what does that do that was my original property that if it appeared in line with the text that particular line that comes in line with the picture takes up the entire height of the row. So we want to try, try to avoid that situation. So this is how you can work around working with clip arts and columns together. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Catch you in the next one.